John, what do you think? Makes good choice. Adam. I'm not taking a picture. Oh, Say cheese. Oh, grab it for me, my car, and my budget. My money, my choice, my money. Yeah. You know, it's really warm out there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you know he's coming? No, neither one of us did. Yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> did you know? Wow, no. Did you know? Yeah, yeah I did. Yeah. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I thought I heard some bad jokes. I'll bite you. They told! So you better in shock. That's what I can't So I went back to my doctor again. We just said, please. I'll control my ass. That like looks right out of two. It didn't sink in. I'm like, what are you doing here? And this dad goes sinking in. I drove. Don't do it, Sam! I took a plane and I got a car and then I drove. Sam! Guess who's known for months? We have an increased risk of being hospitalized for asthma problems. Remember? I had a feeling, but I said, no, I'm wrong. I don't put that in your nose when you told me, Mom. Remember when Aunt Lois was there and we had that problem with that dog? Congratulations. Thank you. In the woods? Was that Mitchell? No, yes. Was that not Mitchell? <laughs> it began as a fun day at the ballpark and throwing out the first pitch, but a Puyallup boy had another big surprise waiting for him. Dave Hinman reports on a special homecoming at Cheney Stadium. It was a beautiful day for Rainier's baseball. Partly sunny skies, cool but not cold, the smell of hot dogs and popcorn wafting through the park. It was also family day at Cheney Stadium. Kids of all ages flowed through the gates and scrambled for a treasured autograph. I passed out because it was just so amazing. I'm the only one who got to do this in my family. Josiah was chosen to throw out the first pitch. And being a little eager, he had it all planned out. Throw a fastball, obviously, or, or I can throw a curveball. Perfect! What he didn't know was, catching for him was his hero, his dad, Air Force Staff Sergeant Jesse James, just off the plane from a year in Korea. Jeez, it means everything, coming back to my family. I mean, coming home. I've been away from my family for a year. I'm looking forward to seeing my kids' faces. And the pitch. Daddy! A family reunited on family day at the ballpark, summed up by the look on a young boy's face. Dave Hinman, Pierce County News. so excited yesterday when uh, Margaret Clifus, which is Bailey's homeroom teacher, called me about it. And she, as if she was asking permission, and I said, absolutely, absolutely. And like I say, just, you know, I'm, I'm getting emotional as I, you know, as I think about it. And, you know, just coming home, you know, the appreciation as a community what we have for our, our armed forces and stuff and for us to be able to facilitate this is just such a small token of what we can do. But we're, we're sure proud of the entire family. And we're just, we thank God he's home. Yes, sir. Our, our third go around with the deployment, so it 
gets harder on her each time, but each time the community has stepped up and family readiness group has always been helpful. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to direct your attention to the middle of the field. We have a special guest tonight that's going to toss our coin for the opening coin cost. It is uh, Michael Siles' mother, Misty, who is just home from Afghanistan. And I'd like you to uh, stand with me and give her a hand. This is a surprise to Michael. and all the people that serve our country overseas. Let's give one more round of applause.
I'm going to move and she'll miss me very much. I know. Oh, I'm right. You know what? Vanessa, since you're such a great reader, will you come up and help me read what's on it? Turn it down. So it be really quiet so you can hear. Can you read that? Welcome home, Daddy. What does that mean? Vanessa! Daddy! Oh, hi, baby. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. <laughs> 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 oh. hey, what were you, you, you doing? Were you reading the yeah. 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 What did it sound like? Nice. Welcome home, Daddy. I know. <laughs> Where am I at? I'm home. I'm home. Daddy, did you see that coming, Vanessa? Yeah. Welcome home, Daddy. 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 Oh. Vanessa's dad's been in the military serving our country, and he's been in Afghanistan yep. for a long time. So Vanessa oh. and her mom have been without dad for a long time. So she's excited. <laughs> 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 awesome. You scared me. I missed you. <laughs> I remember you were part of the army. Yep, part of the army. <laughs> Well, it was a heartwarming reunion for a soldier and his wife when he flew in from overseas and surprised her at work. He's been deployed nine times during their marriage, and they had not seen each other in five months. Channel 7's Matt Johnson was in on the surprise, and he's live with more on how it all played out. Hi, Matt. Hi, Scott. Well, he went through extraordinary lengths to let his wife know that he's come home early. Now, it took a few weeks of some very secret planning, but in the end, it all paid off. Master Sergeant Mark Evans is sweating bullets in his wife's office building. He's more nervous here than when he's in Kuwait. I don't sweat this much in the field, even though it's 110 degrees and 100% humidity. Evans is home early, and he's about to surprise his wife, Suzanne. On the other side of the door, Suzanne's office is holding a fake press conference. She's just won a rigged drawing for her work at a charity event, and now she has to choose between a gift basket or... You can have this, or you can have that. Now he can finally stop sweating and hold his wife, whom he hasn't seen in five months. With everything that we've gone through, with all the deployments, this has been, this tops it all off. I mean, this tops it all. It really has. After nine deployments and 22 years of service, he's had plenty of goodbyes, but never a hello quite like this one. He reached out to his wife's office, and they took care of the rest. If I go upstairs, will you... Uh, take a picture of me surprising my wife. She's like, absolutely not. We're doing this. We're going the whole nine yards. He'll be at home for two days until he has to say goodbye once again. But now maybe he can help out with some of the work Suzanne was putting off until tomorrow. Well, I do have laundry to hold, so that I guess you can get back to work. <laughs> Now, once he leaves, Master Sergeant Evans won't see his wife again until the Super Bowl, but he has less than a year away from finally coming home for good. Hopefully. Back to you. <laughs> That's the way it works, isn't it? The, when you come home, the wife puts you to work. That's right.